is part seven of our interview with Steve Hackett. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Steve Hackett's brand new album is Surrender of Silence. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on it and the tour. He's doing a Seconds Out tour. Remember that famous live album from Genesis? Here's part one of our conversation with Steve Hackett. With the, uh, uh, someone had asked, how long did it take the band to uh, Genesis to finish Supper is Ready? To finish it? Well, it was written in about two weeks, although part of it incorporated some songs that were already written. Um, uh, it was written in sections. People brought in their own bits. Uh, Pete brought in the song um, a Willow Farm, which was really good. And I think the bit about the fireman was from something that, that had been written um, some years earlier. And we incorporated that in, into it. So most of it was, was tailor-made for the song. And we wrote it or stuck it together in about two weeks, which is pretty good going. Uh, James uh, Gideon asked, would like to know if the classical guitar intro to Blood on the Rooftops was part of a larger piece of music before it became uh before it came to fruition such a beautiful piece well thank you for that um uh no it was actually tailor made to go with the song i would say that the, the, the song with its introduction were written pretty much at the same time so yeah. what's your take on that when we die where do we go do you have a take on that do you want to share that there's no uh funnily enough i was having a conversation with with um peter gabriel about this uh, not so long ago and I said, you know, what's your take on this? And he said, I think there's something. It's just, a, I don't know what it is. And um, um, I tend to believe that, that we do we do live on. I certainly hope so. Um, I like to think that it hasn't all been for nothing. What was the greatest or one of the greatest moments in jamming on stage? This is from Luke Harris. One of the greatest moments jamming on stage. Oh, goodness me. Um, I seem to remember one of the greatest moments was I was just, I was sitting in with a band playing at the local town hall. And um, I was playing this very basic rock tune. Like circle, what, what, what year would this have been around? Oh, this must have been, uh, oh, it could have been about 15 years ago. And uh, talking about improvisation. Well, I pretty much had all the notes down that I was going to play for this sort of full on rock thing. And, the guitar started doing all sorts of things in my hands that uh, I wasn't asking it to do, but it was taking off like a rocket and I felt like my feet were leaving the ground. I was, I was flying with it. It, it. it felt truly wonderful. I think I was, I was really on form. And you never know when those moments are gonna happen. Musicians say, I had a visit you know, from some higher force that took over and did wonderful things with my acts. Well, you can tell because you pulled that one right out. I mean, that that there was no doubt in your mind. That's the one that came up, right? Because so you were in, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's it's great. When it, Ian Mosley says this, you know, the drummer with Marillion, Ian, we worked together, and he said, you know, it's some nights everything you go for comes off, and when you have one of those nights, yeah, you have a visit. Uh, Don Beard, regarding playing techniques, what prompted him to go from uh, sitting to standing, and how was that? Was that a transition? Well, uh, when I was first with Genesis, they asked if I minded sitting down to play because the whole of the band did that at the time. Apart from Pete, Peter Gabriel was the lead singer and he was up dancing, being the show. The rest of us were functioning like the pit orchestra, really. We sat around, we provided the, the music. Pete was also involved with the writing, of course. But um, uh, when Pete left, we were very aware that suddenly we, we had to change our presentation. We no longer had a singer who was going to run around and wear all sorts of things. And, um, and we were worried that we, we might fail by being too pedestrian. So um, a number of us stood up at the time. So I, I, I got, I shaved off my, my facial hair, got some contact lenses, got some boots, got some clothes made. And um, I, I, I went through a personal makeover. Suddenly, I, you know, I had to figure out, can I do the pedals standing up? And I just about could. And, um, and so um, I was, I was um, suddenly playing on my feet and it was, it was unusual for me. It was a bit of a shock at first. And then it, 
it basically looked a lot better. Surrender of Silence is the brand new album from Steve Hackett. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on that. It's a great record. And information on the new tour, which is called Seconds Out, which is named after, of course, the double live album from Genesis. He was still in the band back then. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos, and buy a t-shirt. Help support our channel. There's all kinds of different designs for all of our channels. Check them out. Link in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.